What's up guys, Chris here, AKA The Clever Guru. Today I wanna to show you how to take your Google Slides and make it interactive for your students. My name is Chris, I've been an educator for 11 years. I have a doctorate a degree in curriculum instruction and I wanna continue making videos to help support you as educators in this transition to a virtual environment. I must emphasize that a lot of these videos that I create can be utilized in both a virtual and face-to-face -face environment. So let's get started in exploring Google Slides. So here is the slideshow that I've created for my students. And so first we're gonna start out by viewing the slideshow. And I'm going to show you step by step on what I used and how to make the interactive elements within the slideshow. So as you see, we're doing a slideshow about the engineering of ancient Rome. Talk about what the ancient Romans did in terms of engineering and how it relates today. So as we go through, students will click on the slideshow and go through the interactive elements. So it talks about before we begin, use the Padlet. Padlet is a information uh, app that allows students to post uh, sticky notes on a pad that you can do uh, use to explain for them to explain prior to doing the lesson to see what knowledge they have prior and also have it you know what knowledge they have what what have they learned from the lesson so students going to use the padlet to describe what you already know about the ancient romans and their engineering from there you're going to use edpuzzle which is a video uh, lesson app that allows you to break videos down uh, to incorporate multiple choice questions, short answer questions, etc., and make videos more interactive and engaging. So you're going to use that lesson to learn about the engineering accomplishments of ancient Rome. And finally, you're going to go through and use the Padlet again to talk about what you have learned uh, within this lesson. So if the students click on the Padlet, it's going to take them to the, uh, the Padlet that's been set up and I've already posted. So students will hit the plus sign at the bottom right hand corner. And then I put the ancient Romans, built roads and other forms of transportation. So that is what they accomplished. That's what I already know uh, prior to going into here. From here, once completed, now I'm going into the Ed Puzzle. So the Ed Puzzle, I come here, it's going to take me to a video. And in this video, we're gonna watch and it's gonna take us to a multiple choice question, okay? It's gonna take us to this multiple choice question. The Romans invented question. concrete over 2,000 years ago and built roads that are still around today. And so as it's going through the process of this video, when it gets to this little carrot symbol at the very bottom, it's gonna stop the video for your students, okay? And from here, it's gonna ask the student a question that you see here. It says, which Roman engineering achievement helped bring water to the cities, okay? The answer to this question is aqueduct. So the student would pick aqueduct, hit submit, and from there, they can restart the video, okay? They can hit continue, they can hit rewatch if they wanna learn again, say they got it wrong, they can hit rewatch to go back over. But again, it provides that instant feedback for the student as well as you, you as a teacher on, the, on your teacher's end. When they're done opening the question or done with the questions that's been sitting in place, they can hit continue and the video will start back playing. So that's Ed Puzzle. And finally, we go back to the Padlet system and we make a new post of what we have learned. So a student may put in, um, I've learned that Romans built aqueducts for waterway transportation. I just want to shorten it. When they're done, you just click away from the box and it saves on your Padlet. So that makes that part interactive for the student as well. Finally, once they're done with slide two, we're gonna to go to slide three, and you see the final answer. And what is this? It's a ticket out the door. So once you've gone through the lesson, now we can come in here and the students will answer, name two things the ancient Romans were able to accomplish in their engineering. This again is a review process of what the students already learned. They will put the answer here, hit submit, and boom, there's their ticket out the door. And that completes the Google Slide lesson that was now interactive for that student. Now, how did I complete this lesson, okay? So first, before going into a Google Slide, you need to understand and figure out what 
materials you're going to use. I strongly urge you to under, uh, try and figure out what apps you may use to incorporate. Are you going to use a Bitmoji Classroom to incorporate things? And go ahead and have that set up first. That way, as you're creating the Google Slides, you have all those elements already done uh, prior to creating your slideshow. So here's my slideshow that I have uh, created. But prior to creating this, I knew going into it, I was going to use Padlet and Edpuzzle. So from here, I go into the Padlet system and create a Padlet for these students. Okay. Once I create everything and everything is ready to go, up to the top right corner, you're going to hit share and you're going to copy a link to the clipboard. Okay. This creates a link that generates uh, from the Google slide to the Padlet. And so from here, when I type in the word Padlet, if I want to incorporate that link, I would simply highlight the word Padlet, go into insert, hit link, and paste the link that I copied in there. And from there I hit apply, and that does your Padlet. And again, I would do the same at the very last one as well, because I'm using the same one. So once completing my Padlet, I now know that the second source I'm going to use is Edpuzzle. So the Edpuzzle, I go through, and this isn't really designed to teach you how to learn Edpuzzle, but designed to show you how to incorporate Edpuzzle into your Google Slides. So I have created the assignment, Roman Engineering, that's the video I'm going to use, okay? From here, if I was a teacher, I can go through and do the breakdown of the video, um, incorporate the multiple choice sections where I want, or, or true, false, or short answer, and so on. When I'm done doing that, in the top right corner of that video, you see copy link. And I'm going to copy that link. And from here, I go through the same process as I did the Padlet where I highlight the word, insert, link, and apply it. So that's how I created the interactive piece here. From there, my next slide is the ticket out the door. So again, I create my Google form, okay, which is here. And as a teacher, so if I go through and open up the Google Forms I created, you will see that my Google Form is here. And here, as a teacher, if I click the Send button up at the top, when I hit Send, I get the option to either email, link, or other options. If I click Link, it provides me with a, a link that I can copy and paste, okay? I generally hit shorten link, that way it's not as long, and then I can copy and paste that link. Um, but both of them are taking you to the same side. So when I go back into my slideshow, now here I created this image of a Google form by simply hitting insert, image, search the web, and I typed in Google form. And then I found what I was looking for over here, dragged it over, embedded it into my slide. From here, I simply highlight the picture I put in, insert, link, and paste the link that I copied from my Google Forms. And that's how I was able to link that element to the Google Form element. You notice over here we have fireworks, moving fireworks. Uh, the way that is done is a website called Jiffy, okay? Uh, it's jiffy.com, and from here in the search part, I just simply search transparent fireworks. And from there, it gave me a list of fireworks. So this is the fireworks I chose. Again, I hit copy link, okay? And from here, it gives you three links. Use the one that's in the middle. Copy the one that's in the middle. I hit copy. When I go back to my uh, Google slide, I hit insert. I hit image and I hit image by URL. Okay, from here, I'm gonna paste that link in there and there it is. Okay, and I simply hit insert and it gives it a minute and it inserts into my slideshow. And from there, that's all there is to it. Um, another thing I wanna mention, uh, for instance, so this um, Bitmoji, when I search for that Bitmoji, if I come up here and I search for it, it's right here and you see that it has a yellow box. Uh, the way I got rid of the yellow box and also got rid of the you can do it uh, area is if you go to a website called remove.bg 
you can upload that image into uh, into the website and then go from there and it'll take away the background. So again, guys, this is how you can make your Google Slides more interactive and more engaging to your students. And it helps provide insight on how they're thinking on elements that you've created. And for you as a teacher, you're able to get instant feedback on what they're doing in order to better judge what maybe you're going to do next. I hope this has really helped you in um, setting up your Google Slides and making things more interactive and engaging uh, with your classroom. Again, in the comments below, let me know how you have utilized this element within your classroom. Also, guys, I really would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe as it helps out the channel. And feel free to share this channel to other educators as my goal is to help you guys transition into the virtual element as much as possible. I want to thank you for joining me, guys. This is Chris, aka The Clever Guru. We'll see you next time. Peace out, guys.